the On Your Side forecast with Rachel Garceau. 648 and can you believe we are in our final week of the winter season and yet we set a warmth record in Mountain Home yesterday. They hit a high of 73. That was record heat for March 14th. They're at 45 right now in Mountain Home, 46 in Boise, 42 in Ontario, mid 30s to just upper 20s up in the mountains, still up near 50 in the Magic Valley this morning. Mostly clear for the Magic Valley in the Twin Falls area right now. A few high clouds drifting through this morning and that'll be the case for most of the day. We'll see that sunshine filtered a bit by the clouds and the clouds will be on the increase later today ahead of more showers that will start creeping south and they'll impact the mountains first and then possibly bring some rain activity to the Treasure Valley by later this evening. The Pacific Northwest getting soaked right now. This big tap of moisture still bringing plenty of precipitation to Portland and Seattle this morning and there is some heat setting up to our south. This ridge of high pressure that's been affecting us and bringing us such mild conditions is really affecting the southwest. We're looking at highs of 90 degrees or more in the Phoenix area. Once again today, we will be mild, not quite as warm as yesterday, but still a very comfortable Wednesday in store this afternoon. So here we are this morning, mostly clear skies. There's all that precipitation we're already seeing across the Northwest. As we put this into motion by this evening, about five o'clock, we'll see that cloud cover increase. So not a whole lot of sunshine by this afternoon. Probably won't need the sunglasses on your drive home this afternoon. In the mountains, though, we'll already see some showers popping up as this precipitation starts to drift in and there's a cold front coming through behind the showers as well. So that will drop our snow levels a little bit by tomorrow morning. They're at 8000 feet this morning. They're not going to change a whole lot tomorrow, but we will see a little bit of snow in the central mountains. It's possibly some rain tomorrow morning by commute time. And by bus stop time uh, around seven o'clock or so a scattered shower, but then those showers melt away throughout the day. Thursday heading into Friday, we'll see sunshine until early Saturday morning. So overnight Friday into Saturday possibility of more showers pops up and then we could see some scattered showers lingering through Saturday, even though temperatures will rebound quickly after tomorrow and we'll hit 70 or so once again to kick off the weekend. We'll be up near 70 for many spots today, not Vail or Ontario though. Eastern Oregon looking at just about 60 degrees, 61 degrees, but 69 for Caldwell up near 70 for Boise and Mountain Home this afternoon. Scattered showers in the Boise Mountains, but comfortable temperatures. 60 for Idaho City, 62 for Garden Valley today. All of you in council will get to enjoy 53. Rain showers in the Long Valley, especially this afternoon and evening with highs in the mid to upper for 40s. Same story for Stanley, 49 degrees, morning sunshine, mostly sunny skies until this afternoon into this evening. Some showers possible then. 70 for Twin Falls, a pleasant day in the Magic Valley, 67 in Shoshone, though that wind will get breezy to downright gusty at times today. We drop down to 60 degrees tomorrow with those morning showers. St. Patty's Day looking pretty nice, mostly cloudy, but a high of 67. There's that 71 for Saturday with a few showers coming along with it. Cooler though to end the weekend on Sunday.